Hello and welcome to the lecture series on economics of growth and development. In the previous class, we have seen the meaning of economic development. In this class, I'll talk about the meaning of economic growth. So economic growth in a very crude sense deals with the problems of developed countries. So I hope you can recollect that when I taught you meaning, uh, meaning of economic development, I taught you that it deals with the problems of developing countries. So economic growth is talking about the problems of developed countries. Yeah. Let us now look at how economic growth can be defined. There are two different ways in which you can define economic growth. The first way or the first pillar of uh, explanation boils down to the definition in terms of national income. So let us look at what the definition of economic growth in terms of national income is talking about. It is talking about sustained annual increase in an economy's real national income over a long period of time. There are two important words which we have to look at here. One is called a sustained annual. Yeah, this this entire term increase in economy's real national income over a longer period of time. Yeah, whenever it is for a longer period of time, then it is called as economic growth. There's another argument to it. If at all you're talking about sustained annual increase in an economy's real national income over a long period of time, you have to consider that if at all there is a sustained increase in the uh, in the real national income it fails to account for something called as standard of living of the people why because if at all there is an increase in let us look at that with with the help of an example if at all there is an increase in 1% in the national income the underlying change in population is always greater than greater than the increase in the national income so as a result what is happening is the per capita income is falling i hope you guys know what is the formula for per capita income if you don't know per capita income is given by the total income of a country for example divided by its total population so this is the case so what is happening is the argument is saying that if at all there is any sustained annual increase in an economy's national income over a long period of time what is effectively happening is the standard of living is not being measured properly. What is happening is if at all there is any increase in the national income, there is underlying increase in population as well. So as a result, the per capita income is going down. So therefore, as a result of this argument, we have another way in which you can define economic growth. So that is in terms of per capita income. So per capita income is taking into account now the population per se. Yeah. Now let us look at what is happening with respect to the definition of economic growth in terms of per capita income. So what is happening is annual increase or uh, the definition of economic growth is annual increase in real per capita income of a country over a long period of time. So here again it is for a longer period of time. So mind you if at all there is any increase or there is a spike if you see any spike in the per capita income or national income it cannot be termed as economic growth for that you have to have a sustained growth in in in, in, in per capita income or in national national income yeah so that is the underlying condition which is required you you should have a sustained economic growth for a longer period of time uh, yeah so now let us look into what uh, arthur lewis is talking about when he is talking about the definition of economic growth he says that economic growth means the growth of output per head of population so now he is incorporating population per se yeah he is incorporating population here there was no mention of population and therefore it was only in a crude sense talking about only the real in, uh, real national output or national income here we are looking at the population as well as the total income per se yeah now either ways whatever it is we are more interested in two important things one is the sustained increase in either the national income or per capita income and the second is we are ultimately interested in raising the standard of living of the populace so if at all these two things are happening over a sustained period of time that particularly boils down to something called as economic growth so i hope the concept of economic growth is pretty much clear uh, i'll be making more videos so please stay tuned thank you